For most people, surgery usually means an invasive procedure involving possible complications, scarring, and a long hospital stay. Yet for patients with certain tumors, there is an alternative, laser surgery. The laser beam's concentrated light irradiates the tumor by directing an optical fiber into or above the infected organ. Healing is relatively quick, often without hospitalization. But most hospitals still continue to put patients under the knife. This is because laser surgery machines are very expensive to buy, up to $120,000 a piece. Here at the Jacob Blaustein Institute for Desert Research, scientists at the Solar Energy and Environmental Physics Department have found a way to reduce the cost of laser surgery instruments to as little as $1,000 each. Physics professor Jeff Gordon turned to a natural resource that is abundant in the desert around him, the sun. Let's concentrate sunlight back to the level it possesses near the surface of the sun, couple it into an optical fiber, deliver it into the operating theater, and we have the same results as with laser surgery. He and his colleagues, Dr. Daniel Feuermann and Dr. Mahmoud Khalikhal, constructed a curved dish that focuses sunlight to almost 15,000 times its ambient level, close to the level it has near the sun itself. A small mirror placed at the focal point of the dish bounces the light into a fiber optic cable which runs into the laboratory. Power intensity is controlled by a special iris which opens and closes at the flick of a button. The group now uses this prototype to carry out surgical experiments on fresh chicken liver. Upon operation, the solar beam penetrates and smolders the tissue. When the chicken liver is examined after the surgical trial, the team finds a symmetrical lesion seen here in white. The liver is then analyzed by pathologist Dr. Ruthie Shako-Levy. We see that the border between the viable and non-viable tissue is very sharp. So just from looking at the slide, you cannot distinguish and tell if it's by solar surgery or by um, laser surgery. Chief of Surgery Professor Sali Mizrahi of Soroka Hospital in Beersheba took part in the experiments. We have seen the results and it is completely compatible with the same results that the literature show us about using laser treatment at the same tissue. The solar unit can only be used on clear sunny days. Emergency treatments are out, since even a drifting cloud could shroud the sun and shut down the operating room. The program has received international attention, as well as the generous support of the Rita Altura Foundation. Now, scientists and surgeons in sunny climates around the world await further developments of this novel use for solar power. It will save no significant energy, it will save no significant power, but it may save lives. And to me, this is what makes it worthwhile.